What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making one of the best appetizers on this planet. That's right, you heard it here folks, we are making nachos, but if you understand anything about nutrition, you probably realize that nachos are terrible for dieting, building muscle, trying to stay in shape, everything we wanna do. But don't you worry guys, all hope is not lost. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect batch of Tex-Mex nachos that are loaded down with flavor, packed with protein, and about half the calories which you would normally get at a restaurant. I'm telling you, if you follow what I show you in this video, you're gonna be way better off for it. And as always, this recipe, along with every other recipe on this channel, the healthier, high-protein, diet-friendly versions are available in my cookbook, which you can grab at the first link in the description box. Every time I drop a video like this, the cookbook gets updated for free, and if you have the book, you get the recipe at no charge. It's a great deal. The best diet you'll ever follow, I promise. Link in the description. You won't regret it. All right, guys, if y'all are ready, let's get this thing going. Now the first thing we're gonna do with this recipe is make sure we're using the right tortilla chips. Regular tortilla chips are terrible for you, loaded with fat, loaded with carbs, almost no protein. It's not ideal. Your local grocery store should have these. These are Quest branded tortilla chips that come with their own flavor. This one is loaded taco, my personal favorite. And they're primarily protein with very low fat and very low carbs. Not only are these a great snack, but they are absolutely perfect for making nachos. And if you look at the nutrition facts, we have 140 calories, 4.5, grams of fat, four grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. These are the best macros you'll ever find on a chip. And the best thing is you can find these at almost any grocery store. And since we're gonna be making a big plate of nachos, I'm gonna use two of these bags. It's gonna be about 64 grams. I really think we're gonna go with loaded taco. And how about the chili lime? Sounds like a good combo to me. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab an oven safe baking dish, lay some foil on it, press it down, hit it with nonstick. And I'm just gonna open my chips, dump them right on here, like so. Now I'll just go in, kind of mix them together. Then once they're all mixed, all I wanna do is create a pretty little pile because we're gonna throw these in the oven. And once we're done, it's just gonna slide off of this foil. So I gotta take a thumbnail, so I want this to look good. But I also recommend you guys do it. That right there looks perfect. Now that we've got our pile, it's time to add the toppings. The first thing we want is some refried beans. High in protein, high in fiber, low in fat, extremely filling. The perfect nacho topping. We're gonna be using 140 grams. So I'm just gonna take a spoon, pull a little bit out at a time with it sitting on my food scale. I'm gonna transfer over and dab a little bit onto the chips. What I'm aiming for is to get as much of the surface area of these nachos covered as I can. I want every bite to be loaded down with flavor. And now's the fun part, we get to add the cheese. We're gonna do a blend of 28 grams fat-free cheddar and 28 grams of fat-free mozzarella. We just grab our scale, weigh out 28 of mozzarella, toss in the cheddar, we'll go in real quick, mix them together. And once they're mixed, I'm just gonna go in and sprinkle it all over the top. I wanna give you guys a fat-free cheese melting pro tip. If you hit it with a little bit of nonstick before it goes in the oven, it's gonna come out twice as gooey. Just go over it real quick like so. Now, it wouldn't be a plate of nachos if we didn't add some jalapenos. You can either put them on the side or like me, put them right on top. We're gonna use about 60 grams on here. There's almost zero calories in these things, so add as much or as little as you want. But a nice little pro tip, if you're looking at jalapenos, buy the nacho sliced ones, because they're a little smaller, they seem to be cut a little better, and they work great for recipes like this. And at this point, before we add anything else, these need to go in the oven. I'm gonna toss them in 400 degrees for about six, maybe eight, nine minutes. Whenever that cheese is melted, I know these are gonna be good to go. Let's toss them in. And boom, we're just gonna wait a few minutes on these and I will see you guys in a second. Check it out guys, after seven minutes, our cheese is gooey and melted. Everything is looking perfect. The final thing we're gonna add is about 56 grams of a Texas style salsa. I'm just gonna go in with a spoon, put some right in the middle, and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic cheesy Texas style nachos.
Now this is what I call the prime example of the anabolic diet. Nowhere else are you gonna find nachos that have macros like this, this much protein, and this much flavor without completely throwing off your diet for an entire week. Like I always say, losing weight, building muscle, staying lean, isn't about giving up the foods you love. It's about making better choices and doing recipes just like this. All right, folks, if you made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below. What's an appetizer you wanna see me make? And before this gets cold, I think it's time to give it a try. Let's do it. All right, guys, it is time to dig in. And for anybody wondering, I forgot to show you, but basically, once the nachos are finished, you just kind of hold them and they'll slide right off that foil. You can put them on a plate, or like me, you can put them on a cutting board, whatever you want to do. All right, let's get in here and get a bite, man. All right, look, hold up, hold up. Oh my goodness. All right, we got a perfect bite here, man. We got the cheese, the beans, the chips, the jalapeno. Let's do it, man. That is so good that I swear if you ordered this at a restaurant and no one told you they did anything different to it, you just thought those nachos you got, you'd be happy with the money you spent for them. Mm. And seriously, top to bottom, this recipe is fire. These Quest chips, if you've never had them, they taste just like tortilla chips. They got a nice flavor to them. They're soft, they're perfect for this. And for real, ever since I started doing this, like four days ago, I've had it every single day. It's so freaking good. And keep in mind too, with this recipe, highly versatile. As long as you have the chips, you have the fat-free cheese, really the toppings or whatever else you wanna put around it, isn't gonna affect the recipe too much. The amount of jalapenos we have in here is like five calories. The amount of salsa is like five calories. All that stuff, negligible. As long as you have the base, you can really make this however you want. Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did, it, which end up with for the whole thing is only 506 calories, 10 grams of fat, 64 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs with eight grams of fiber, 500 calories, 64 grams of protein. Those are exactly where I want to be. And keep in mind, if you want to half this recipe, literally take all the ingredients that I put, divide them by two, one bag of chips, 70 grams of beans, 28 grams of fat-free cheddar, 15 grams jalapenos, yada, yada. You're in there, baby. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite. Let's get it. Mmm. Guys, this recipe right here is incredible. Not only do you get a massive filling pile of nachos, you get a ton of protein. You're not throwing your diet off. It's easy to put together. Literally all A's across the board in my book. If you make this, tag me on Instagram in your story. Let me know what you think. And as always, if you have my cookbook, it has been updated. So this recipe along with every other one of them is now in there. Like I always preach, dieting doesn't have to be hard. Dieting doesn't have to be boring. We can eat stuff like this, make the better choices, see results. It's really this easy. And if you have my cookbook, available at the first link in the description. It's even easier. All right, baby. Appreciate all you guys for watching. Smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below anything for the algorithm. Seriously, every single comment helps. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Oh, and don't forget, Christmas right around the corner. If you want the best protein bar in the world, the Anna Bar, available at finalboxformance.com. Could RJ have 10 will save you 10%. Then make sure you head on over there and snag these up. Our inventory is really low going into Christmas. If you get it a little early, sit it off to the side, hide it from the significant other. That might be your best option. So hit that. I'm telling you, if you like good tasting food. You're going to love these. And yeah, I think that's it. Appreciate y'all as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, boom, boom. We out of here, baby.